Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. So, since last episode, you may notice I did set up a second wind turbine. We had most of the stuff to make it um, already made, like the, the blocks, and the, we had one piece of wire left over, so it really wasn't too bad. Um, and I did do a bit of rearranging, you will notice that. All this junk is starting to get kind of moved and sorted and situated to some degree. Um, it's steadily getting there. I did remove our dirt system because it just isn't needed at this point. Um, I may set up another one, but I doubt it. Um, we'll see. We shall see. Um, and then down here, I did move our grinder. I actually moved it like four times, <laughs> trying to decide where I wanted it for sure. Um, it's not currently plugged up, but we do have a full drawer here of gravel and sand. Um, so that is there and available to us. And then I've got to get put a grass seed out here, but I'll do that later. Um, I actually have to sieve more dirt to get more grass seeds to do that. So, um, And then if we pop over here, just a few updates. Fluid cows, I'm just... <laughs> I've got so many of the things. I mean, I'm sticking them in other pens, as you can tell. There's bio crud right there. And, yeah. Um, anyways, if we head in here, I did do a little bit of chisels and bits work. Um, you may have noticed on the grinder there was like a glass pane. That was actually a little bit of chisel and bits. Nothing elaborate so far. Um, but I've got to finish out these ceilings with a bit more chisels and bits. They're going to look a little bit more ornate than... Just a solid slab of Sakura planks, but um, that's okay. But I've got the water seeds, the hemp seeds, the wheat seeds just kind of laid out in these little like glass bays that kind of come off this main room. And I've got a bit of this kind of uh, leveled out, and I'm growing cactus here. It's, it's my first iteration of it. Um, over here we do have uh, willow, tiger wood, Sakura, amaranth, silver bell, maple. Um, and I did add a chunk loader so that we could keep generating wood and stuff, um, you know, while I'm offline and everything. Because, of course, the FTB, I think I mentioned it last episode, the FTB chunk loading is disabled in this pack. So you have to get a chunk loader. Um, we were basically just waiting on ender pearls more than anything before we could get that. Um, over here we have dirt seeds and inferium seeds, stone seeds. And then back in here we have wood and rice. These are all 10, 10, 10s. So, and then I've got a few more that are pretty close. Like that one's getting pretty close. And I think pumpkin is pretty close. Or, no, that's melon, I'm sorry. Up here is pumpkin. It's really close too. And then giga pickle, barley, and cotton are kind of newer. Um... But yeah, so anyways, um, also I did complete one quest, and it is a quest that um, you guys probably were anticipating that would be done, and that is the mag grinder. This right here, we get five racks for that. Um, so anyways, what we're going to be doing today is, and by the way, this area here, I, I started kind of sketching it out with the uh, spruce wood, but I don't know for sure that it's going to stay as a spruce wood. It's probably going to end up taking more of a factory type look um, with this windmill part that comes out basically um, I've just been sketching with cobblestone and stuff and then trying to figure out because you know I'm limited this pack doesn't have a lot of building materials um, in the first place sadly it does not have X tones or Z tones unlike Project Ozone 2 but I've just been kind of sketching things out with cobble and wood and then you know I'll change it um, but I think there's going to be stairs here that come up and in this area here it's going to step up to this little like Landing. I'm probably going to bring the landing out a bit more. Um, and you can go up, which will be like an out, outdoor staircase. Or you can go into here and you'll enter kind of on this platform and then step down into this area. Um, it's kind of what I'm thinking. And then this up here will be kind of like a balcony. And then you can walk right through here between the windmill part that kind of comes up and is somewhat separated. And then you can walk into this floor. Is kind of what I'm thinking. And then here's our grinder. Which we are going to be setting up a second grinder. Um, probably this episode. So fun times. Fun, fun times. 
Um, but yeah, so anyways, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be playing with our ore processing system. You know, I meant to do that last episode, but I didn't get to it. Um, also, we're going to be moving this and changing it up, um, upgrading our lava. Oh no, that's not good. I should probably, yeah, let me just go ahead and remove this. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't catch everything on fire. That would have been terrible. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just pull these up. And there we go. Okay, yeah, we're going to be moving these this episode and setting these up and all that fun stuff. Um, which we won't be using lava this time around because we're going to be setting up a system that actually needs more lava. We haven't needed more lava up until now, but now we're actually going to want a bit of lava coming in, so we're going to be upgrading. I'm kind of debating if I want the door to be here. Well, anyways, anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, so what we're going to be doing is, first and foremost, we need to run power down. And I actually went, up a, went ahead and set up this second windmill because, like I said, we're probably going to have a second grinder. And there's one, uh, actually, I guess two other machines. We may end up having to set up a thermal pile to go with this system. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how things go. But let's go ahead and take our electric connectors and just plug these onto the back of this. And what I'm going to do is we'll just shift, click to grab that. And I'm not sure if, yeah, that's going to be too far. If you, if you notice, I don't have a cord right there. If I pop up to here, I've got a cord. So I think, can we run it to here? Yeah. We can run our wire down to there. And then what we'll do is we'll do the same thing on the other side. So let me just pop back up here. And remember, it's shift, click to select a location. And then it's, uh, you just right click to uh, link it. So there we go. We're just going to bring those wires down to there. And then... Um, Oh, let's see. If I left this kind of open. By the way, do these wire connectors, if I do that, they do break off. Okay. So this is eventually going to get broken off. I'm, I'm going to have to replace it, but that's fine. That's okay. But what if I uh, connect that to there, connect that to there, then we'll grab this one. And I believe I've actually got more wire connectors connectors well maybe I don't maybe I do yeah I've got two okay this will reach so let's just bring it over to say like right here oh, whoops bring it over to right there and then we're gonna connect it in right there so this is gonna start working and this is probably gonna have plenty of power at this point because it's actually running off of two windmills but we're gonna be running some other stuff like I said so that's going to start generating our sand and our gravel, and our gravel is getting dumped out to this transfer node. Um, and I did set up these right here. This is the drawer I think we're going to go with, which is uh, segmented rusty plates and Tyrian shiny plates, factory blocks and Tyrian. Um, and I think they look pretty good for what I'm wanting to go with. Keep in mind that the spruce, I'm probably going to remove all this spruce, I think and make a different kind of pillar, maybe a factory block pillar or something like that. And then actually our smeltery is going to go here. I'm probably going to have the output on this side and it's actually going to be like a chimney that goes up right here. Um, so I think we're going to keep the, the two by two size on the smeltery, but we're going to make a really tall smeltery is kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, well, we're going to start with say like gravel, I think. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, what does it take? Are these going to be like really expensive or possible for me to pull off? Can I, I can alloy them. Iron and ender. Let's see. Yeah, I think transfer nodes are going to be fine for this first bit. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves three frame drawers. And we're going to set these up and they're actually going to line up with um, kind of where our sieves are sitting. So these aren't going to be for like personal access uh, necessarily, but I do have an idea to where we could still come back here and access them. 
but we'll get into that maybe in a little bit if I decide to go with that. But we're going to put um, a drawer here. We're going to put a drawer here and then a drawer here. And then let's go ahead and just slot in. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to grab, I'm going to empty out this drawer. And we're going to say that this one's going to be gravel. It's the most important for us to start running because um, it's what's going to have diamonds. Redstone's really important too. Sand's probably, I guess, the least important, but I still want that right there. And then we'll have the dust, which I've got some dust sitting in here. And we'll go ahead and slot that. And we'll go ahead and just lock these in. There we go. Okay, and I've got, I've actually got uh, some saves up here. Let me go ahead and grab these. And once I figure out what floor I want to do, I am going to have to pull these up and change out the floor, but that's fine. So yeah, we're probably just going to start running the gravel one first and then get everything switched over to iron stiffened as soon as we can. And so what we're going to do, this is actually going to be like a, underneath, like a, <laughs> he got killed by a pig earlier. This is going to be underneath the decking, so we can actually hide away the... <laughs> That's unlucky. Um, we can hide away the transfer pipes. I'm going to go ahead and grab the rest of these. But what we're going to do is... I'm actually probably just going to remove this part of the pillar. And we're just going to run these through... We still got to go to the hunting dam. Um, we will soon enough. I've got to make some armor though, ideally. All right, what we're going to do, we'll just come over to here. And we're just going to bring this up. And uh, basically I've got to run it over to there. Okay, so that, that, that. And that way it can start pumping out. It's going to take a while because this is very, very slow, but it can move a stack at a time. This will build back up. It'll grab another stack and then so on and so forth. I don't know. We might find that it's not pumping out the sand. Though I do think, I think once sand backs up, it would stop, um, it would stop moving items, but I don't know. We may end up having to upgrade to conduits or we'll get speed upgrades in this. I don't know what it takes to get like the resonator and stuff in this pack. I have not looked. Strangely cheap. <laughs> okay. Well, that makes me curious. What does it take to get like a, a water meal? Standard. It's kind of creepy that we can just get a water meal like right out the gate. Okay. So we could probably move into speed upgrades. Yeah. There. We need blocks of redstone, which takes red alloy ingots, but that's fine. Um, okay, so we might get speed upgrades in this before too long. So... Yeah, right now it's not going to run because sand's backed up. So if sand once sand backs up, it's going to send it. Um, and then later on, once we get speed upgrades, it's not going to be an issue. So this will be this will be perfectly fine because um, this is going to be running on a server, you know. And we'll put a chunk load over here. So by the time we do like maybe next episode or something, we're going to have tons of metals and you know all that fun stuff. So what we're going to do now, we've got the, the gravel in place. It's feeding over gravel. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is, um, which actually, I guess since I'm doing three wide, I'm going to change my original plan and we're going to have, well, let's go ahead and just make one sifter. This right here. And I think we made a couple of the pieces to this before or I made the stone axle okay well let me get a few stone compound gears honestly I should probably just go ahead and get 12 because I'm gonna want four of these auto sifters um, before it's all said and done and I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple more stone axles we will need some more of these 
but we'll make them in a minute once we figure out exactly how many we're going to need. Um, and then we're going to have to get a piston, which is Invar and Electrotain or Red Alloy. Um, I'm probably going to go with Electrotain because we've got a bit of that and it's really going to probably be the easiest route to go. And then Invar, one part nickel, two parts iron for that. Okay, and I'm definitely going to need more Electrotain or Redstone. That's okay. I mean, I've got enough for to get one of these, and then I'll, you know, i got to get some more. But hoppers are easy enough. I've made so many of those since last episode. Okay, so there's our pistons. There's our sifter, which I believe is going to complete a quest. Oh, we got to get the water wheel. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That is fine. So there we're going to need a stone axle. We're going to need water wheel segments, which is our treated wood. And we're going to need sticks for the water wheels. Okay, we should be all set now. I've got the water wheel segments. What am I missing? Oh, stone axles. Okay. Or a fair few of these or whatever we end up making. Then I'll go ahead and get another water wheel. I'm going to want three of these, so might as well go ahead. There we go. And quest complete. And if we take a look here, we get 10 racks for that and four more water wheels. I didn't even pay attention to the quest reward. That's just, I'm used to getting five racks off everything. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is I'm going to set the sifter up on this side. And the reason being, um, these little, basically where the bridges cross over right here, this is going to be a river that runs through here. And so if I run the water wheels out here, let's see, that would be, yeah, right there's the sieve. So what we want to do is, let me get, uh, I'm going to go grab some cobble. I'm going to build this out just a little bit underneath the floor here. Just kind of run this back. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up our first auto sifter setting right here. And it should connect on its own into all of our sieves. And then what we'll do is we'll run our axles out. Boom. And really, I could dig this back a little bit. Let me do that. If I recall... I'll put cobble there. If I recall correctly, um, we're going to want space for the water to move beneath this. With these water wheels, I don't know, I get all the water wheels because there's so many different water wheels from mods. I get them all mixed up, but I believe this one benefits from water being able to move underneath it. And then um, what we'll do is we'll just bring this back a little bit, which I will end up probably changing this quite a bit before it's all said and done. And the reason being, once we put the river in and once I have flight and I can actually like navigate this and build this out a little bit easier... Um, I will definitely want to do that, but for right now, we're going to build this out somewhat temporarily. Just basically, we'll make it blend into the river a bit more uh, once we get to that. But let's go ahead and just throw this down. And then back here, I think four would probably be plenty fine. Um, the more of these that you add on, the faster it'll go. You have to have at least one um, to get it up and spinning, you know, but you no. Know. <laughs> Not where I want you. We're going to bring these back like that. There we go. And then what we can do is if we have our water flow. Okay, what we need to do, we need the water to flow down here. This is the direction that they actually will turn. So we're just going to go like that. And you can see right here, their own rotation is 0.5 for an effective rotation at this point of 1, uh, which is going to get the sifter rolling. Now, I need to get water flowing onto those real quick. And I've got an idea. Once we get to... I'm just going to place this out like that for right now. But once we get to actually running this stuff... Um, along the river. I have an idea of how we're going to make it look a bit nicer <laughs> so we don't have this going on, but we'll get to that. So you can see our effective rotation now is two. 
Um, and we could keep stacking them. I think two is probably going to be fine, um, at least for right now, with it being on server and everything. I think it's going to be okay. We go over here and we look, and it, the sifter is now shimmy shaking the sieves. And then what we can do is we can send items down into the sieve. And uh, let's see, the sieve's right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull this back for right now. Yeah, there's our sieve. And so what I need to do is I need to bring items right there. So do we want to use a... Tr yeah, transfer pipe would be perfectly fine for this. So we're just going to run... And then later on, we'll clean it up with like conduits and, and facades and all that fun stuff. But for right now, this will work. The transfer pipe is going to start pumping it down into there. And then this is going to start running. Now, I really don't want this running too much at the moment. <laughs> uh, I just kind of wanted to show you more than anything. But we're going to break this off here in just a second because um, we still have to make a vacuum system for it and all that. But... And take care of the compacting line. But yeah, there we go. So it just crafted all of that stuff. So now... That's got 23 gravel in there at the moment. That's fine. I'll let that run and let it just kind of pile up items right here. But then what I want to do is I want to make um, a couple things here. I want to make a compactor. This right here from the compactor mod. We're gonna need four pistons, we're gonna need a crafting table, we're gonna need some redstone. Um, for this, ugh, I'm getting low on Electrotain. I might actually have to run some dust, we'll see. And I'll tell you what, I've been doing some thinking, and one thing I would like to do, is we're actually gonna spend our very first racks, um, and we're gonna go ahead and get um, saturation. It only costs a stack of racks. Definitely worth it. And we get our ability totem for saturation one. And I think that's the only one I want at the moment. And quest complete. And then let's go ahead and just right click. We need 8,000, it's 58 player levels um, to be able to equip this. So I'm gonna have to get some XP. That's not a biggie. Um, I kind of wanted to see how many XP levels we were going to need. And that's actually not too far off. And we can set up some kind of an XP system or go to the hunting dimension or stick copper on our sword. There's a lot of things that we could do. Start getting into experience seeds or I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get this compactor crafted up. And one of these will be fine. But like I said, I think I'm going to have to do a little bit of saving because I don't have a whole lot of redstone. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's go ahead, let's get ourselves a item collector. And then we're going to go ahead and go for the advanced item collector. There we go. And then we're going to get our compactor. There we go. And then, let's see, we've got some transfer nodes. But I don't know. I don't think transfer nodes is what I want to use for this. Because there's going to be a lot of items that need to move somewhat quickly. Oh, I don't know. Because basically, here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead, actually, and set up a few of these drawers. And we're going to actually have these lined up. Um, so if we do another grinder, it would probably set here. And then I would have the yellow tape that goes around. So really I could use this section here for drawers. And I could move the smeltery if need be and maybe have that wall there. Or just set it up upstairs for the drawers. Yeah, let's do the drawers upstairs. Um, we'll still have that, uh, that, that that will need to be taken up but then we'll have this wall here that's like drawers um, that we're using and I think what we're gonna do we'll have the pillar there and probably have it stick out a little bit and then what I'll probably do is just bring 
because we're going to have chiseling bits on the outside. So we're actually going to have these set up like this. And then here. But like that. And this will just be stuff that comes from the sifting process. And what we'll do, let's grab everything that can come from gravel. Um, that's not to be compacted. Which is flint, raw rock candy, coal, lapis, diamond, emerald. Which I probably don't have any diamond, but that's fine. Alright, I'm just going to start throwing this stuff into there. And I mean, you could do like smaller drawers, like two by twos, but I'm doing singles so that we've got basically more space and and whatnot. And we can make this, this building, you know, decently tall so we have all the items visible and all that stuff. Um, so there's that. This is just, we're just handling the gravel for right now. And actually, let's go ahead and, um, for right now, let's grab an iron storage crate. So maybe we can get a diamond. That would be nice. And we'll go ahead and set up our storage item, which we're going to have this setting like, yeah, it can go right here because this wall is going to be chisel embedded. So this would be like visible. Um, these are from Quantum Storage. They're actually upgradable. I don't know if... I made this because I was looking at it because I've never messed with these. I've I've messed with the Quantum Storage mod, but I've never seen the storage crates. They're new to me. So I was kind of checking them out the other day. Yeah, those just take gold. Let me, um, let me go ahead and just upgrade this real quick. And I don't think we can do the diamond one just yet because I'll need the diamonds. And then I noticed the emerald one, or the Quantum Storage crate takes just more diamonds so but they're fairly cheap to build and upgrade and everything and they seem like they're gonna hold quite a bit um, and they look for me I just thought they looked a whole lot better than these I hate these I mean they're okay for certain things but I like these a lot more and like that and um, yeah I think they're gonna work out nicely here so we're gonna have that sitting there and we're gonna put our advanced item collector here and we're going to say that the radius, this is the, um, this is the z-axis. So we're going to increase the z to, well, really where I had it was fine, I think, 5. I'm going to increase it to a 6. And then the y radius, we're going to drop to, say, a 3. Yeah, and that should be good. And then we'll do like a four on this. And then we should be all set. How much storage does this have? Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Because this is mainly just going to be moving stuff. It's not going to be sitting there and holding it. Or it shouldn't be. If our item transfer system is good enough and it's not backed up. Oh. Alright. So that's going to start sending gravel. Wonderful. And we'll make sure that it all gets picked up here. Yeah, I might end up adding more water wheels. I have quite a few going out into that river. I may have to shape things up once we get flight and stuff, but that's fine. And then boom, it gets sucked up by this. And there's our diamond. Uh -huh. Okay, so what we're going to do then is let's pop up here. We'll go ahead and slot diamonds and... Now comes the question, do we want to go ahead and push for ender conduits? They're really not that terrible. We have the nebulous hearts, and it's not like I can't get more loot bags. Um, it is going to take a few ender conduits for what I want to do. Um, but I've got two, and I've got uh, two more pearls over here. So yeah, we'll just take those. I can always get more loot bags. Then I'm going to go ahead and just throw this in there and get this alloying. There's a bunch of our stuff. And then we're going to have metals go along the top, I think. Um, we'll have like a, a gap and then metals. Or, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, but this is all made molten pulsating iron. We have eight ingots, which is actually quite substantial. And then we can get our conduit binder. Which I'm pro I think I'm going to have to make some more of that. And really, one ingot of this might have been okay. But now we've got a bit to play with and we don't have to worry about it for a little bit. Um, 
but we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a batch of item conduits. Basically, I need to bring it over to that side of the building, but I could actually run it up into the floor because later on then we can make facades. That would work. Um, we are going to be setting up a drawer controller, but we'll get into that in here shortly. Okay, yeah, we're going to run it up to here. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a drawer controller actually sitting right back here. Um, that's where the drawer controller for this system is going to sit. So if I did metals, that's not too bad um, for like a storage section of this. I don't think. Let's go ahead and just run these conduits. Yeah, I may actually need... No, I've got enough to run that and still have five left over. Um... So there's that, and then we're going to have to take a look at the drawer controller, which might be a bit fun. It's grabbing my cobblestone, that's fun. Uh, let's see, drawer controller, oh, it's medium batteries. Okay, well, aluminum plate, not terrible. The rest of that stuff, not terrible. Medium battery, I'm going to need... To get eight sulfur so i'm gonna have to go farm that up in the nether yeah but i really want it i mean we could live without it sure but i really want it for this so yeah i'm gonna pop into the nether i'm gonna go see about farming up some sulfur and uh i'll be back in a bit okay um i just got back from the nether and i found that the orange salamanders actually a really good source of sulfur um, they drop it pretty regularly. Um, I'm actually working on getting luck uh, built up on the sword as well. But I did get the eight sulfur that we needed. So I'm just going to dump these. I'm not going to go through them right now. But yeah. Then I also grabbed some heat sand because we're going to be using that here shortly when we set up our new uh, lava system. So. Alright. Let me get the rest of this stuff put together and then I will be back in just a moment okay I've got everything together now so there's our medium batteries oh and I need this Which actually I can just grab this drawer because we don't need it anymore and I will take the void upgrade we're gonna be making a bunch of these this episode and then we've got plenty of peridots so Okay, so there's our drawer controller. Haha! -ha! Pop over here, turn that in, we get five rack for that. Anyways, we're going to put our drawer controller right here. And before we connect it up, let me go ahead. There's a couple things I need to do real fast. Uh, first up, we need to pop over to here. I need to go get, I made some oak trim. I'm not going to use frame trim because it's not going to be visible. I swear there's just cows and stuff everywhere. All right, let me grab this. And I actually made up four nature clusters earlier. We're going to get started on nature seeds here soon. We're going to go ahead and put uh, oak trim there. Oak trim there. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a torch inside those. To make sure that nothing can ever spawn in those locations. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our drawer key out and just right click. That locks everything. And then we're ready to start pumping some of these items out and over. So we're going to go ahead and say you can insert. And it's going to be on the green line. And then this, we're going to say you can extract on the green line. So it's going to start pulling out the coal, the lappies, the diamonds, the stuff that we have slotted at the moment. And we're going to say on this, we're going to say the priority is 10. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is we need to set up our compactor that we made. And this can really sit anywhere. Um, I guess the big question is, is do we want it accessible? I'm going to have it sitting right here, actually. Yeah, that would actually work out well. And then what we'll do is we're going to say that you can 
insert on green and we're going to keep it at a zero priority and we're going to say that you extract on red say so always active insert and it's going to start pumping in um, the stuff that doesn't have a place which in this case it's just ore pieces and then we need to give it some power it is going to require a little bit of rf um, but in our case we're using magnetic craft and um, we can give this power without having to run it through the electric engine to convert it to rf so that's good um, so we're just going to put this right here and grab that power line there we go it's going to start pumping in power and you can see it is compressing these into chunks for us there we go and it actually does not consume very much power at all but um you do need a little bit of power going into this so all right and let me go ahead and just help this out by just moving all that stuff into there lots of iron being made at the moment so there we go that's what we've got so far from our auto save um, about two stacks of iron and then a bit of all the rest of the stuff now we can or double all of this but the way I'm gonna set up my or doubling since we're on a server since I can load this with a chunk loader I'm not gonna double everything because it's a waste long term we will we'll probably get into um, uh, mechanism or multiplication like up to quintupling but for now um, I think most of this stuff is just gonna be like this and then maybe some of the stuff from netherrack or something we might temporarily or double I don't know we'll see can we get sulfur from the save from anything I think we can but I don't think it's uh, Oh, it's from the grinder. We need to get one of these set up because um, we could grind blaze rods pretty easily. 50% chance of getting sulfur right there. Especially if we set up a compactor and just kept... Um, we would lose a little bit of blaze powder, but we've got blaze powder coming in. Yeah, that's how we're going to automate sulfur. We're going to do that pretty soon. Because that's actually not all that bad. Yeah, the compactor is really cheap. So yeah, we could do that sulfur system. That's what we're going to do for sulfur. Um, I'm not sure what it takes to make the bigger electric furnace because if we can and it's not like crazy expensive I would like to kind of stick with the magnetic craft theme and maybe have like an electric furnace over here um, maybe setting skip a space I think it's I, if I recall it's a three by three as well yeah um, yeah it's not too bad and it actually doesn't even require, whoa, really? Because the normal electric furnace requires that I get two medium batteries. This one does not require that. This one is actually fairly cheap. We're going to need some support columns. Yeah, we're going to do this. Might take me a second to get the stuff together. Yeah, because I'm going to need more double tungsten plates and stuff. But yeah, we're going to do, how many am I going to need? I think it's just four. No, it's eight. Yeah, it's eight of them. Okay, yeah, give me just a second. I'm going to get this stuff together. It's really not too much different than what we did with the grinder. And I think some of the stuff I've already got. It's really just getting some double tungsten plates at this point. And we'll be good to go. So, because like, yeah, that's all I have to do is get the tungsten plates. We're going to get this to unbreaking here soon. Um... We've got five modifiers on it, so that's something we're going to do because it's actually default recipe for unbreaking or reinforcement modifiers, so that's what we're going to add, I think, to this. Okay, I made some more connectors, um, and then we're going to get our support columns. There's two of those, and then we'll just finish placing this out, and there we go. That's, uh, yeah, that'll be perfect. And there is our bigger electric furnace. Um, oh, you know what? I feel like I should move it back. Well, no, because then I'm going to have this staircase that comes down and walks over. Yeah, so I'm not going to I'm not gonna move it down. And what I'm going to do is, let's see, if we take, I believe item conduits can plug straight into this. 
and we were extracting on red so if we now say insert on red yeah I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be one conduit short though I kind of think what does it take to make the conveyor system for magnetic craft because I would like I'd really like to do the inserters Oof. Cool. okay lighter Later, we're going to do the conveyor belts and the inserters because they're going to look pretty cool in here. But for right now, for ease, it doesn't. You would think they would be cheaper than conduits, but they're not. <laughs> That's fine. We'll go ahead and run that over. So this has got uh, this has got power and everything in it that's building up. And um, yeah, let me get another batch of conduits real quick. I'm about to make some conduit binder. That's fine. All right, so what we'll do is we'll just run this up. And this is already ready to uh, extract, I believe. Yes, it is. All right, so let's, um, let's connect this up and see what happens. Okay, it's pumping in 10 ore chunks, and it's sending them out right here. And so what we need to do then is, uh, I made a bunch of chests earlier. Yeah, if I grab one of these chests, just out of curiosity, and we take and attach this to the back of it, does it feed directly into it, or do we have to use a conduit in this case? Yes, it'll feed directly into it. Um, this thing is a little bit of a power hog, so I'm probably going to... Um, it will smelt extremely fast at full power. But what I'm going to need to do is upgrade upgrade power. Because right now I'm trying to run this, that, constantly, that, all off of just two windmills, which is not working. But we might do the solar panel multi-block. We might do that next. Because I've actually got a place on top of here. And we can also still do the thermals and, um, and whatnot. So... Yeah, we might do that, but for right now, I mean, this is okay. It's going to catch up, probably. Maybe. Maybe so. It's starting to starting to speed up a little bit. Um, and we can see right here we're building up tin and silver. So then what we can do is we can pull the items from this chest. Pull them up. And we're going to say you extract on green is always active. And right now it's not going to send that anywhere because it's not slotted anywhere. Let's go ahead and start grabbing some of these. And let's slot 10 silver. And for right now I'm just going to put an oak trim here. There's 8 and 4. And there we go. 11, 15, so it's feeding up into those drawers. Yeah, this thing, it wants to run faster so bad, <laughs> but I just don't have the power going into it, but that's okay. Once we upgrade power, though, we should see all of our machines speed up. This will be making gravel faster, and this will be smelting things faster, and that's fine. Right now, it's going to be running constant, so... So then what I need to do is I need to let this basically catch up to the gravel production because right now, I mean, uh, catch up to all this stuff that the gravel's producing, which it may or may not do. <laughs> we, we've got to speed this up before we can really make use of the system, I think. So I might wait for, for a little bit to plug up the sand and the dust. For just a little bit because if I need to hand sieve those that's fine we should before too long we should have enough diamonds to set up diamond mesh um, right now I've got seven and I've already got one diamond mesh I'm gonna wait till I have a full nine though so what I'll probably do is set diamond mesh in this one before I change it over in this one so I don't know no I'll probably change it over in that one because I'll get diamonds faster then Okay, now what I want to do is let's take, we're going to take one of our drawers for this, and let's take our crucibles and our heat sand and the cobblestone generator that's down here that goes to that. Let's 
grab that. And I'll, uh, I'm not going to break that. I'm actually going to set this up with uh, this frame drawer. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up... See, that's going to have a grinder. So this might be best to set up over here, which is fine. What I'm going to do is I'm just... Because we are really only going to need like three of these, and we're going to have all the uh, lava that we can... That we can make use of I think but what we're gonna do is uh, let's tear up like three of these and heat sand I can't remember if it's affected by gravity it is okay that's fine because um, what's gonna happen is there's actually gonna be chisels and bits for the ceiling so eventually that's gonna change over I'm gonna have to replace the heat sand whenever I do that but that's okay um, but we'll just put down our heat sand right there. And we're going to put down our crucibles. Boom. So now we've got a rate of 120 times. Then what we're going to do is... Cobblestone genera... Oh, wait. I'm going to need to move this, aren't I? Yeah. Unless I have the tubes go in front of it. Which... Um, I could do, I could put the cobblestone generator there, have that there, yeah, I might, I don't know, I think, I think I can actually work with that, and it, um, I think, I think, we'll see how things go, but then what I can do is just uh, pump this out, boom, 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 like that, it's going to start pumping this over, and it's going to be just kicking out lava. Honestly, we could probably, yeah, we could probably just have one of these for our needs. Um, but I'm going to keep the three of them for future proofing, I think. In case we find ourselves needing a lot of lava. Because it's like, honestly, with the lava underneath, we had all the lava we'd ever need. You know, for the time being, and this is just way more lava than what we need. Um, then what I'm going to do, let me get... Uh, fluid conduits let me get our tanks and then we're gonna pump this up into tanks so we'll just say extract is always active on all of these it'll start filling our tanks up and then what I want to do is we're gonna set up another drawer that sets um, right here and then Let's see. We're going to have an item conduit that sits right there. We're going to have a... This would be easier with a better tank. Well, we'll do that for now, and then later on, once I get a better tank, um, we can do this a little bit easier, actually. So we'll do that... And we're going to have our stone barrel sitting right here. And then we're going to say that you can extract always active. So it's going to fill up this. And then I'm probably going to put glass around this, maybe? No. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to say extract is always active on this, and then you can insert into here. And then what we're going to do is, uh, let me just pop over here. Kind of making like a little compact system. Yeah, it's really, this is what's slowing us down, is it can't move the cobblestone fast enough. I might change this over to item conduits in just a second. That might be a little bit better. But let's go and, at least for right now, and this is probably, I mean, it's not going to stay cobblestone. And the layout might change slightly, but if we put water there, it's going to start pumping out cobblestone, I mean, obsidian constantly for us. So we'll just go ahead and lock that in. And then we've pretty much got infinite obsidian. And then the... Item conduits. Let me craft those and see if it maybe 
works a little bit faster. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this obsidian. There is one thing, though, that I want to make today. And that's why I wanted to get this set up. Because for our ore processing system, we want to make sure that it doesn't back up and like start spewing stuff into the world. And so all we're going to do is just add some void upgrades. Let's go ahead. We're going to say insert, insert, insert. Then over here, we're going to say round robin enabled and extract always active. So we should see lava. I mean, it's still eating it instantly. But it is faster. It is making it quite a bit faster. And then once these two tanks fill up, all of it will be feeding over to this. So that's going to help. And then what I can do is I can use the subsidian to make lots of void upgrades. So that's why I want that. Because I'm going to need to get these done so that we've got them and it doesn't start overflowing the system from this. Okay, I'll tell you what. We're going to upgrade this because it's actually the cobblestone. I didn't even look before it's the cobblestone that we just aren't producing enough of it fast enough to keep this running at full speed i mean it really doesn't matter i've almost made all the void upgrades in no time um but what we're gonna do is just tear this off and we're gonna upgrade it to the tier two which i believe completes a quest there we go and really we could go ahead and upgrade to the tier three even um, yeah, which might actually be worth doing. And by the way, I did go ahead and add a buffer chest here just so I could go ahead and ship the stuff from the compactor out, you know, and, and keep that cleared out and then store it up in here. Look at all this iron. That's why I'm not really worried about doubling iron. It's just, we have so much of the stuff and it's just going to keep running and building up, um, it may not run at like full super speed or anything because it's going to run out of gravel here soon. But realistically, I could send the sand over there. But I think I'd rather have three dedicated uh, save systems. So that way it's easy for us to expand, um, you know, and make things faster and stuff like that. So, But let's go ahead and pop this off and let's upgrade it. Oh no, it's diamond for the tier three. Lava wood for the tier 4, that's easy. And then uh, blocks of emerald for the tier 5. And then there's the creative cobble generator. Okay, my bad. Well, scratch that. I don't have the resources to do diamond at the moment. That's okay, we'll just hold on to those gold blocks for now. And, um, yeah. So there we go. And right now we've got almost three stacks of obsidian. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. And not to mention I've got um, I've got void upgrades except for this section. Which is no biggie because it's not making this stuff at the moment. I can get those later. Um, or I'll probably get them right after this episode. But uh, And then I've got void upgrades in all these ingots up here. Which I'm not making all these at the moment. But um, even steel. Almost got four stacks of gold. I have a lot of gold from sifting all that netherrack. But then this stuff will just keep building up. We've got 11 diamonds. I did use a couple of them for something. I don't, I don't remember what it was, but I used a couple of them. Um, rock candy building up, lapis, and all that stuff. But yeah. And then we have kind of a centralized place where I can come and dump off ingots, pick up metals if I need to craft and all that. So... Um, but anyways, I know it's about wrapping up point four this episode. So we're going to end this one out here. Next episode, we're going to start diving into advanced power, getting stronger power running through here because, like I said, two windmills, not going to cut it. We are going to do thermal piles, but not as our main power setup. But we are going to do a few because there's a quest for them. So we will set up some thermal piles, and then we'll probably see about the solar panels. I'd really like to get those set up if they're not beyond our means, but... Yeah, so, and I'll keep working on this building a little bit. I may try to get the grinder, the other grinder set up, and um, and then let this build up, probably let it build up overnight, so hopefully I can get the nine diamond meshes, so we can set up, um, maybe set up the gravel with nine diamond meshes, and then maybe move the iron meshes over to the sand, and then we can get that up and running. 
until we get enough for nine diamond meshes on the sand and then we'll move the iron over to the dust and repeat you know um, and then next episode we'll also automate dust because we do need to do that and we'll make our hammer um, unbreakable we'll get cracking on that stuff I did set up a chunk loader here so this should run overnight and um, build us up a bit of resources so um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay up to date with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys then.